I am actually a, opposed to the biomedical model because what it does is treats um, a patient as a machine and it treats a patient as if there is no um, external, external reality. It is strictly um, about biological systems and identifying biological systems where that are responsible for illness. And I think unless we have a much more capacious model, which would be a psycho biopsychosocial model, which has been in existence for a very long time. It's there to be used. You know, the person as object is a big problem in medicine and even in psychiatry, right? Where they've been looking now for decades to find biomarkers for psychiatric illness and they have found not a single one. So CBT, uh, you know, is again, right? You, uh, you fix up your thoughts and then um, everything is gonna be all right. So there's almost no acknowledgement of uh, external trauma. Uh, you know, people have been in war situations, genocide situations, right? This is really eliminated from that kind of treatment. It's uh, part of neoliberalism that wants to privatize everything and also isolate uh, the individual from other individuals. Now, again, I mean, there is some science that um, is extremely helpful, as I said before. You know, there's a man, an Italian scientist named Fabrizio Benedetti, who talks about mechanisms and everything. But his work on placebo has shown that this inert substance is not inert. And he talks about placebo as words, symbols, rituals, and emphasizes that it happens in that zone between patient and doctor. So there's an opening that I think art therapy uh, can uh, use in some way, because what happens for a patient, say a traumatized patient who is doing art, and I have to say, I include written art. It's often left out <laughs> of therapies, but I worked with psychiatric patients as a volunteer writing teacher for four years. And I have to say, I did not know what the effects would be, but I saw certainly immediate effects that were benefit, that benefited the patient. There was no question about it. This is, in a way, where the material blooms. It's in the area of the between. You know, Martin Buber spoke beautifully about, about that. But there are lots of other, you know, theoreticians of the between, if you will. And one of my um, favorites is Winnicott's idea of play and culture, right? And that that is, for him, what Freud called the intermediate zone, right? And, and for Winnicott, that's where play happens. And every human being, according to Winnicott, must play, I agree with him. Um, and he says, you know, that area is not completely inside the person, but it's not completely external either. And I think that's a beautiful definition of what art is. It is this place um, in the between that's coming from the person into the outside, but it belongs to both. And I do feel, and this, I, this is a big hope, but I feel more and more a sea change, um, a paradigm shift, and I don't mean only in psychiatry, but in how people want and need to think about you know, who we are 
as a species and how we're going to live with one another um, as we go forward. I can feel, you know, it's, it's shifting under our feet.